Hi, welcome to our show at the Baltimore County Arts Guild in their building called the Clubhouse. Elaine Weiner Reed and I are holding our exhibit, Portraits of Life Once Upon a Story. We wanted to include um, musicians to work with us as well as writers so that they could do pieces in response to our work. And this is one of the paintings um, that I'm doing. Now in my work I like to tell stories and the stories that I tell um, I, I kind of have three different motivations. One might be to share something about a place and culture that um, is new to me um, from my travels, for example. Um, one could be just everyday scenes um, of people just do, doing life's adventures. And then this one here is part of a new series I've been working on called Inner Stories, where I try to communicate something that, how I perceive someone. Um, they don't know um, beforehand, you know, if I take their photos ahead of time, I tell them this is not going to be a traditional photo, an, a traditional portrait of you. You have no obligation to buy it. You may hate the painting. <laughs> uh, it's going to be my take on you and how I perceive you. And, um, and this woman uh, is a friend of mine, and she is um, in very spiritual individual in the sense of she's very kind and gentle. Um, she has an inquisitive side and in, in the, the pose that I got, I've, I've titled this piece Wondering because I sort of had that sense that with the way she was kind of looking off and, and up was like, like she was pondering something. Uh, but also I wanted to create something that reflected that spirituality of hers. Um, you know, she's, if you want advice on something, she, she's willing to share it, but um, it's, it's always a very gentle uh, interaction with her. And so I gave her the feathers, because for me, that, that sort of had the spiritual feel. Now the geometrics, those were just kind of for fun. Uh, <laughs> because you have to have fun when you paint. So, uh, so that is, I, I think, very likely my first in my series of inner stories uh, portraits. So this painting, for me, evoked uh, a Native American presence. And I found that the woman was from New Mexico, and I looked up what Native American tribes were from New Mexico, and I found out something about this black pottery that's also evoked in the painting. I found out that the woman was not Native American, but that April also thought that when she first met her. But what made me think about it was really <coughs> the, the feathers at the back of her head. So um, April resonated with the poem, and I figured it was okay to have an interpretation like this. It's called Wondering. What is it that I can say to you, here among the aspen, fragrant and lush? You need to know that I am more than a relic of loss and pain, more than the curiosity of sacred crow feathers in my hair. I harbor gifts of peace in my heart, durable and permanent as an ancient flower preserved in amber. Sit down. Listen to the wind. Let me explain the star-struck beauty of the night sky. I carry its wonder with me like a treasure clutched to my heart, like the carved vase fashioned by my grandmother's hands. Thank you. Yay.